Hello, my name is Nipul Shah and today's topic is ACL Rehabilitation. So here we begin. What is ACL? ACL is the anterior cruciate ligament which is one of the strongest ligament of the knee. And there are two total cruciate ligaments in the knee. One is the anterior cruciate ligament and second is the posterior cruciate ligament. The tear of the anterior cruciate ligament is more common than the posterior cruciate ligament. And it has two bundles, uh, posterior lateral and anterior medial. So this is the picture of the torn ACL which you can see. So what is the mechanism of injury for ACL tear? Uh, ACL is uh, prone to tear during uh, the hyperextension or uh, during uh, the valgus forces while falling or during road traffic accident or, uh, for, or while playing the game. It is more common in the athletes but it is even common in uh, the non-athletic population that is the common man. Uh, so what are the main functions? Uh, there are two main functions. The primary function is uh, it uh, resists the anterior translation of the tibia and the secondary function is it uh, provides the stability against various or various forces. So uh, we do the anterior drawer test to detect whether uh, ACL is uh, at uh, fault or not. So what do we do in an uh, anterior drawer test? We uh, give a posterior anterior uh, pull over, over the tibia and if it is more than 6 mm then uh, we conclude that it is uh, it could be because of ACL and we have to compare it on the other side because in some people even the translation of the tibia is more because of hyper, hyper mobility. So next uh, secondary is uh, it provides stability against various or various forces and uh, if um, uh, the forces are too much then uh, the condition which is very common in the knee is unhappy triad where medial uh, meniscus, the ACL and the medial collateral ligament are injured which is known as unhappy triad because three structures are involved in it. So uh, it can happen because of contact uh, sports or non-contact sports. A non-contact sports, hyperextension is a common mechanism of injury and in contact sports it uh, happens because of the valgus forces and the, uh, the tibia goes for rotation. And uh, what are the main goals for ACL rehabilitation? Uh, uh, gain good uh, functional stability post rehabilitation or by the end of rehabilitation. Second is repair the muscle strength. Third is reach the best possible functional level and final is decrease the risk of re-injury. Now what are we supposed to do at the level of uh, pre-surgery that is before the surgery. Uh, immobilize the knee, use an immobilizer and cr crutches until uh, you regain the good muscular control over the leg. An extended use of any immobilization in immobilizer should be limited to avoid cordyceps atrophy. Otherwise, uh, the cordyceps will go for wasting if you use the knee immobilizer for a longer period of time. So you have to wear it for a few hours, uh, especially during weight bearing activities and you have to remove it. The second is control pain and swelling. Uh, for that, uh, ice pack is given and some uh, anti-inflammatory medications are also, con uh, are also given to control the pain and swelling. Restore normal range of motion that is quadriceps exercises are done isometrically and dynamically. Straight leg raise is done. Range of motion exercises should be started immediately to achieve full range of motion as quickly as possible. So uh, counseling of the patient is more important uh, because uh, he has to undergo the surgery and he has to know what is torn and what surgery he is undergoing and what uh, uh, phases of rehabilitation will be there, what all precautions he will have to take and what home program he will have to follow. So mental preparation which is also known as patient education is very necessary uh, at the pre-surgery level and uh, develop the muscle strength by doing low impact activities such as swimming, stationary bicycle exercise. Uh, leg press machine and so on. Uh, acute uh, stage, what do we do? Uh, we start with a static quadriceps exercise uh, uh, and SLR and ankle pumps are given that is ankle dorsiflexion plantar flexion is done uh, to, uh, uh, to uh, avoid the DVT that is deep vein thrombosis and uh, to avoid the venous pooling and uh, next is knee flexion extension has to be done in sitting how much ever is possible by the patient. Uh, within the pain limit, patella mobilization has to be started in all the directions gradually and gluteus medius exercises uh, first in supine, later on in sideline and pro, uh, gluteus exercises in prone position is also given. Then knee flexion in prone position and for uh, strengthening the hamstrings and weight transfers in standing, the patient just has to stand and he has to bear the weight equally on both the sides and just has to shift 
from one leg to the other forward backward and side to side and a neuromuscular electrical stimulation is given because there is inhibition of the quadriceps muscle and it is very important to recruit this muscle so that the normal uh, strength is re uh, restored by the end of the rehabilitation by sixth month we should regain the quadriceps strength almost equal to the other limb so for week one we are giving regular ice and elevation to reduce the swelling the goal is to achieve full extension and 70 degrees of knee flexion by the end of the first week so the use of knee braces and the crutches are imperative multidirectional mobilization of the patella is done for at least 8 weeks and other mobilization exercises in the first 4 weeks are passive extension of the knee and uh, active mobilization towards flexion uh, strengthening exercises to the calf muscles hamstrings uh, vastus medialis are performed VMO exercise that is vastus medialis muscle which is mentioned here is very important because it is the first muscle to go for wasting so it has to be recruited uh, before surgery also and immediately after surgery so that it doesn't go for wasting it holds the patella in the proper position and it avoids maltracking of the patella in the lateral direction so uh, we have to do slr with external rotation to strengthen the vmo uh, for week 3 and 4 the patient should try genuinely to increase the stance phase in an attempt to walk with one crutch with good hamstrings or quadriceps control the use of the crutches should be reduced later on so as the quadriceps and hamstring strength will improve the buckling effect will go away the patient will get more confident and you can you can lean off the crutches at week 5 uh, the use of the knee brace is progressively reduced like i said tonification of hamstrings and quadriceps can start in closed kinetic chain exercises uh, so you can start performing uh, mini squats or lunges till the middle range not uh, deep squats and uh, any uh, uh, exercise which consists any closed chain exercise which consists of deep uh, like end range knee flexion should not be done at uh, this level at least the exercises should be started on light intensity and progressively increased and closed kinetic chain exercises should be built from less responsible positions such as bike or leg presses or stepper to more congested positions such as squatting and the progress of the exercise depends on pain swelling and quadriceps control so gradually the you have to increase the exercises as per the control of the quadriceps and this is very very subjective so each patient of the uh, acl rehabilitation is different and you have to progress accordingly and proprioception and coordination exercises can start if the general health if the, if the general strength is good and this includes balance exercises on the bolts and bolster we can a uh, forward backward lateral dynamic movements can be included as well as isokinetic exercises started and for third uh, month after three months the patient can move to functional exercises based on his uh, game uh, and or even running and jumping initially and later on he can proceed to the uh, exercises which uh, the therapist will make him do as per his game or as per his functional requirement and as the uh, proprioceptive and coordination exercises become heavier quicker changes in the direction are possible so slowly uh, the functional activities are advanced till be done and uh, uh, the proprioception exercises are also increased uh, level wise and uh, likewise the patient will be uh, normal by the end of the fifth month almost and the patient has to continue the home program whichever is given by the therapist and he has to do the exercises regularly even after uh, he is having normal strength and no pain uh, because there are uh, chances to get early osteoarthritis uh, especially in the people who have uh, previous acl tear so better to continue the exercises at least alternate days or four to five days in a week so likewise we have to educate the patient about how important is the exercise and he should do it throughout uh, his lifetime and regular follow ups uh, should be done uh, by the therapist if required thank you